So hydrogen is the future. And uh, I will say Malaysia has the uh, advantage of uh, producing green hydrogen. The Science, Technology and Innovation MOSTI, Minister Chang Lee Kang has the stars in his sights as he takes the ministry on projects spanning the establishment of a privately financed space launch site, alternative energy and startup developments. In his interview with the New Straits Times, Chang shares his insights on the initiatives that are currently being done by his ministry to propel the country into the future through science and technology. Well, we need to build it from scratch because uh, before this, uh, it is rather new, relatively new uh, sector. Lah. So we need to build it. So at the same time, we need to create, uh, we need to produce. Uh, that is on the supply end. But uh, on the uh, demand end also, we need to, demand side also, we need to, uh, uh, to create a new ecosystem like user of hydrogen. So we need to have uh, production, we also need to create uh, users. So hydrogen is the future. And uh, I will say Malaysia has the uh, advantage of uh, producing green hydrogen uh, because uh, we have um, enough land resources uh, for solar and we also have uh, uh, water resources abundant uh, like for, for instance Sarawak, uh, they have abundant of uh, uh, water hydro, hydroelectric. So uh, we have that advantage to produce uh, green hydrogen. Uh, but at the same time, we also have the advantage of producing blue hydrogen. Well, blue hydrogen uh, by using natural gas. Well, we are a natural gas producer. I mean, uh, oil and gas, uh, we, are, we, are, we are good at oil and gas uh, industry. Uh, we also have uh, natural gas. So we produce hydrogen uh, from natural gas. Then uh, we do carbon capture, CCUS. Uh, we are looking at uh, becoming uh, one of the main uh, exporter uh, of green hydrogen in Malay uh, in this uh, region, uh, uh, Southeast Asia or even Asia. So these are the things that we are doing, and uh, we are looking forward by 2050. Uh, this hydrogen economy will pro uh, will give us uh, 200,000 uh, new jobs, uh, which are related to this uh, entire hydrogen economy. Uh, this is a private finance initiative, so we are not uh, uh, we are not coming up with uh, any uh, uh, government fund, public fund to fund this uh, project. So it's just a private finance initiative. We have already came up with a, a guideline uh, and very strict, uh, a very strict guideline. So uh, if they are interested, uh, they will do feasibility study. And after that, we will gauge, we will, we will, we will uh, determine whether to approve or not. Because uh, although, although government uh, is not involved in, uh, invest, in the investment, but uh, we, are, we are still uh, regulators. Lah. We are still looking at the uh, 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 compliance. Uh, why we want to go into this industry? Uh, because... Um, you know, if we, look, if we look back, if we want to transform our economy, we have to go to uh, industry with uh, high value, high growth, high wage. Uh, we can't have industry with a uh, very labor-intensive kind of industry. So uh, when, you look, when you talk about high, high value, high growth and uh, high wage, I think there will be some, that has to be something like the space industry. Uh, so... Um, in order to have this, uh, to, to develop this space industry, yeah, it's very important to have these uh, launching facilities. Lah. Of course, so happen we are very strategic, we, we, our location is strategic. Uh, if you look at the equator, equator uh, in fact, not many countries have this, uh, technologically have this uh, uh, um, capability. Lah. So, uh, we, are, we are considered quite uh, lucky. Lah. Location strategic, uh, we also have this uh, matured uh, industry. So we start from there, uh, rocket assembly and then uh, satellite assembly. And then they, they will have a lot of the, this mid, midstream and downstream. Uh, the entire ecosystem will be around these uh, launching facilities.